Hey guys, Mechanic CG here and welcome back to another episode of Dirt 3. Today is episode number 12. Hopefully you guys do enjoy. Right, so next up we are moving on to the Nixon Gold series. Starting off with Trailblazer. Nice. Uh, we're going to be taking the Ford Fiesta Hill Climb Special first of all. Right, so we got to finish without rolling or spinning. That should be easy. Right, let's go. Right, let's go. Ah, oh, the speed. 120 miles an hour down the road there. Nice, nice. Right, tap of the handbrake. Let's see if we can get around this corner. Well, of course we're going to get around it. Whether we're going to get around it in one piece is another story. There we go. Going through here. Pick up the speed. Nice. The funny thing is, I am recording this video two months before it's supposed to come out. It's ridiculous. I've gone crazy with videos in this lockdown. The lockdown's probably over by now, but I'm still in lockdown. There we go, nice. We've got ourselves a fairly decent lead so far. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. Good, good, good. Oh, 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 oh. Not so good. That saved us, though. But I now can't see the road because I have a massive uh, flappy wing. There we go. That was definitely off putting it, just going bouncing up and down there. Oh, 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 no. That wasn't too good. Hopefully, we can get, regain that lost time. I hate these cars. Trailblazer in this game isn't as good as it was in Dirt 2. Like, in Dirt 2 it was fun. In this it's just, like, tedious. Cars can't go around corners at more than 60 miles an hour. Rally cars are faster. Not really trailblazing if you can't blaze the trail. If you're ended up going slower afterwards than you were beforehand. No! We went in the sea. Oh, I don't expect first. We got first anyways. How does that work? Okay, game. Yo, amigo. Post that footage on YouTube. It rocks. No, I'd rather not post it, to be honest. Right, so we got to reach the speed of 135 miles an hour for 1,200 rep. Should be easy. Oh, that's a Camaro. Oh my gosh, how do I get those cars? I want to know. Right, let's go. Oh, oh. Don't want to mess it up again. We messed up big time in the last race. Oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, 
perfect. We are slowly catching up with the car up ahead. We've overshot the corner a little bit, unfortunately. Hopefully we don't mess it up too much. There we go, made it through. Oh, two wheels through there. It is tricky to do Trailblazer in this, just trying to keep the car under control. The tracks aren't stable themselves either. I mean, there's bumps everywhere. Come on. Like that. And the cars don't even go around corners. The fact is, the track's not wide enough. And it's already wide. Right, so we hit the speed target, but we also spun out. And our engine stopped. Which meant the car stopped. Brilliant. Couldn't have gone better if we tried. Van der Lind is up there with a 239 at the moment. We are just behind. We could get some speed and catch up. Just gonna have to slow it down in the corners a little bit, I think. We also can't let Vandalin win. Alright, squeezing past the Camaro there. Whoa! We lost it. Right at the end. Second. You've become an amazing racer, Oh, of course dude. he beats me. Why is it always rolling? I've never heard of that guy before either. Like, literally, I'm gonna search him up now. Is that, is that how you spell it? No, I can't, it, there's literally no one there. It's just a made up name. So it's not even a professional driver. You've made the list of the best trailblazer drivers in the world, and now they want you on the world tour. This is huge, compadre, way to go. Do well here, and no one's gonna be able to touch your driver rep. Sure, but you gotta win some races before that happens. Now let's see what you've got. So they want me on trailblazer. The one thing that I can't drive on. Yes, that makes sense. Right, let's go to Smelter. We're in trucks, which is very good. Because we love trucks here. Trucks are the best bits. Um, I think after this series, what I am going to be doing is I'm going to be moving over to the PS3. Um, to record Dirt 1, hopefully. Um, yeah, because I've got Column Cray Dirt 1, and I really want to play through the entire of this game. Um, Dirt 1 is just a absolutely stunning game. Right, let's do this. Go, go, go! Slowing down. Perfect. Nice. Awesome. Squeezing through there. Oh, nice. 
Nice. Keeping it very stable. Right, three more trucks ahead of us. Let's see if we can make it two. Made it two. And made it three again. Perfect. Right. Stay away from the inside of the corners because these things in dirt, in all of the dirt games, you get too close to the inside and you tap it and it almost grips onto you. Like that. And you spin out. Right, we've now got four trucks ahead of us. Perfect. Got loads of speed around that corner there. Nice. Come on, come on. We can at least overtake two more. get overtaken by we're already in fourth place which is bad enough oh that crash ruined us fourth place this is this game gets difficult as you get to the later on races it is such an increase in challenge just goes from level one to level a thousand in one step Right, let's go to the race. We've got to jump a total distance of 738 feet for a thousand rep. Nice little rep paycheck there. Go, go, go. Stay away. Very nice. This is a four lap event, so we're going to have to try and keep it as under control as possible. Because even though there's an extra lap, it's also half the length, so... We don't have as much distance to overtake. World record. Right. Perfect. Over the jump, through the splash, and around the hairpin corner again. Perfect. 59.539. Right. Handbrake. Perfect. Round the corner. Nicely done. Airtime. We love a good bit of airtime here. Splash down. Nice. Awesome. This 
still bits of car everywhere. All over the track, just littered. And across the line, first place, two minutes, 10 seconds. Right, let's move forward onto the Another next event. I smell hot chocolate in our future. Second again. Unreal. The difficulty of these opponents, they're just so skilled. Very nice. It's time for the Land Rush World Tour. And guess what? You've been invited to compete. That's right, mate. This is great news. You're really starting to be respected for your skills in this discipline. Respect is fine, but love from the fans is what it's all about. Win this tour, and you'll be a bona fide Land Rush icon. Okay. Uh, what? I can't remember what the other two would be, though. Because we got... Um... Jim Carner, and then there's something else. What's the final one? Okay, anyways, we're on to uh, Finland for some rallying. And we're going to go for the open one, I think. We're going to take Ford Fiesta, which is a very nice car. I love the Ford Fiesta. It's... Um, I'm actually learning to drive in a Ford Fiesta, so it's pretty cool. But it's um, the one I'm driving is a 2019 model, so. The other drivers will be pretty skittish, which gives you a double advantage. A double advantage. Okay. Right, let's do this. Finish without rolling or spinning. Hopefully, that's not going to be too much of a problem. Oh, let's go. The fact is, these rally cars are so much more controllable than, than the Trailblazers. The Trailblazers, you can't drive. As I say that, I nearly spin it out. But still, the Trailblazers are so tricky. Perfect. Right, slowing down, tap of the handbrake. 60. Left six, cut. Gear. Into left four, keep in. Over crest. Immediate right three, over narrow bridge. Into left Onto the brakes. Across the, across the bridge. And across the line. Nice. First place. 124.8. Very good, actually. We're about one and a half seconds ahead of the rest of the pack, so hopefully we can keep that lead for as long as possible. It would be very good to hold the lead for at least this event. I have a feeling probably the last one we're going to get kicked again and uh, lose a lot of time. But we've got to beat a time of 1.33 anyways. Oh, look at that. McRae R4. It is a classic. Right, we're going. Time to speed away. Nice. Perfect. Right 
very nice time there. 44 seconds. Come on, come on. Are we ahead? Yes, we are. Right, slow in. Round the corners. Right, finish line is just up ahead. Come on. First place, 127.8. Right, we're on to the final event now. Hopefully, we can get a very good score with this. Right, so we have to cross the finish line at 65 miles an hour or faster for 1,200 rep. Oh, look at these cars. They are crazy looking. They get crazier and crazier every year, rally cars. Let's go. It is very dark, and that's the one thing they added in Dirt 3 was the nighttime stuff, where it got really dark, really difficult. In Dirt 4, they made it pitch black, so you couldn't see a thing, and they made it super difficult there. But in Dirt 3, they sort of added it, and it's playable, but you sort of have to concentrate a little bit more. Otherwise you do that. And you lose lights on the front of your car. Come on, come on. Square corner, we've overshot it. Oh, we're slow, we're slow. We need to pick up the speed. Nice. And across the line first, yes. Lovely. 128.8. Six seconds faster than everyone else. So am I. Perfect. That race couldn't have gone more our way if we tried. And shifting over. Wow. Loads of rep there. Next event should get us up to level 19 driver rep wise. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, hit that join button, it means the world to me. And if you want to join our Discord, where we're going to be discussing a lot about the upcoming Dirt 5 release, then make sure to click that link down in the description down below. And there's a load of other social links there as well. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.